Hello and welcome to RPG Raspberry Pi Girls channel. These are the projects that we used Raspberry Pi in the past. So this is the Mood Audio. The Mood Audio basically makes your speakers smarter. This is a web server. It just allows you to make a website at home. This is the NAS. Oh, that's heavy. The NAS allows you to share files within your family. This is a cloud. It's basically like Google Drive. We're going to make this in a future video. Well, anyway, today we are going to be showing you how to build a Minecraft server using Raspberry Pi. Let's start building it. Well, we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi that is 8 gigabyte, And we're going to overclock it so that way it could run faster. But it is going to be hotter. So we're going to use a double fan cooling case. So first... Next, I will show you how to install our Minecraft server on our Raspberry Pi. Then we will play Minecraft on our computer to make sure it works. So now we are going to use Raspberry Pi Imager to burn an image to our micro SD card. We're going to choose OS. And then we're now going to select Raspberry Pi OS because it's only 32 bits. Same for Raspberry Pi OS Lite and Full. They're both also 32 bits. So 32 bits, 32 bit OS only you can use up to 4 gigabyte memory. And our Raspberry Pi memory e is 8 gigabytes so 8 gigabyte memory so the other 4 gigabytes is going to be a complete waste so we're going to go on to other general purpose os choose ubuntu and then we're going to choose the third one because it says ubuntu server 64 and it's 64 bits so we're going to select that and then choose our micro SD card like always. And then once when we write it, it's going to take a little while. I mean a long while. So once when you are done, you're going to need to take your micro SD card and then put it into your Raspberry Pi and then power it on. I mean, before you power it on, put in the Ethernet cable and then power it on. So I'm going to press right and we're just going to wait. So now I'm going to install our Minecraft server into Ubuntu. <clears throat> so I'm going to type yes. Um, and then I am going to enter the password and then it's going to require you to change your password. So uh, your current, current password is Ubuntu. Then our, you're going to type your new custom password. Type it again. And then you're going to have to log back in using your new password. So 
So now we are going to do the update. Type sudo apt get update. This one shouldn't take that long. So now we are going to type sudo apt get upgrade. This one will take a little while. This one will take a long time. So once you are done, you're going to need to do sudo reboot. Press enter. And then type Y. So now, so now we are going to get clone Minecraft repository. First type git clone and then space. And then I'm going to use this command. And I'm you going to use Pinecraft repository. I'm going to type cd pinecraft. cd pinecraft is going to go into pinecraft's directory. And I'm going to type sudo dot slash install. So click, so you can click enter, then again, and you're just going to wait a little bit. Yeah, because right now it's trying to install all of the Java versions. Mm -hmm. So now we are going to click enter, and then before I show diamond paradise and, Ob and obsidian farm obsidian farm is g and diamond paradise is m and they didn't work out very well but we tried random and it did work it was a-okay so i'm going to choose random and I press ok and there is the list of the minecraft server types there is fabric paper forge spiga and cubra and vanilla we're going to choose vanilla because vanilla has the is the unmodified release from Mojang. I'm going to choose survival and yeah, I'm going to accept the EULA. And I'm going to automatically load the server on boot. So then it will overclock our Raspberry Pi to 1.9 gigahertz. And I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to continue, and then you'll see it's saying vanilla. We're going to wait. Downloading vanilla. And then you're going to click enter, and then I'm going to click slash etc slash int dot d slash pinecraft status <laughs> right took your line and if it says one that means it's good if it says zero then it might have failed or it's going down so now i'm going to play minecraft java edition on my computer so I'm gonna press play. Well, now I'm going to press multiplayer and then press add server. Type in my ser my port. It's called your server address. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just gonna name it Ubuntu. Press done. And then join the server. Then it's joining, and then we're here. Jeez. And then we are now playing on our 
our Minecraft server. You can see it is working fine. Uh huh. <sighs> Why am I in here? Because I put you in there. Why else would it be? I don't want you to. Hey, you got out. I. Hey, hey, feed the chickens. Feed the chickens. Feed the chickens. I said feed the chickens. Wait, can you breed one? That looks like a chicken. Oh, there's a big tree. In today's video, we showed you how to attach a double fan cooling case to our 8 gigabytes Raspberry Pi. We also showed you how to install a Minecraft server using Pinecraft. And we also played Minecraft Java Edition and it was perfecto! Thanks for watching!